of All Trades, and today I'm playing Darkest Dungeon. So I tried playing this earlier and ran into a huge problem in that I played for two hours, almost, almost two hours, and none of my audio recorded, not the mic for me, not the desktop output. It was tragic, absolutely tragic. I ended up eating a piece of pizza, which I really shouldn't do. So we... Are going to watch the intermat um, cinem <laughs> words. I can't say them. I I have a beer. I've taken a sip of it. Last time I played, I played with wine, and I was pretty uh, out of it by the end. I was also very tired. But okay, so we're gonna watch the cinematic intro. The re part of the reason why I didn't test last time is because this damn thing starts the second you launch the game and I was like oh wait wait no wait uh, oh I'm missing story oh my god I'm freaking out so I'm, I'm not gonna freak out this time I did test I tested let's move this I hate that I hate games that just Ruin start has come to our family you remember our venerable house no, Opulent actually. Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. <laughs> I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor. These are gluten-free. Fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular and unsettling yet. tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. Someone loves their thesaurus. At last, in the salt soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. You say so. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. So you got a lot of people Until killed. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house? No! You said that before! Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family. You mean clean up your mess? From the clutching shadows. Clean up your mess. What? I was going to say, why can't the you? Darkest dungeon. But you took the easy way out. Oh no, I don't want to claim responsibility for my own problems. Okay, so everything but the Crimson Court, because that makes it harder. And I'm gonna choose Darkest, because that's the original. I I always do that, regardless of the fact that I suck at video games. I'm not an asshat. Whoa! What the f <laughs> Steam? What are you doing? I'm trying to type. Go, go away. How do I make this go? It's, don't do that. <sighs> I didn't do that ever last time. Dick. The controls on this game are a little wonky. Like, I'm never quite sure what it wants me to do. Like, do I click here or do I click there or what? You will arrive along the old road. As opposed to it the new road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Too much alliteration. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. That eye was There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other 
damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. It's hilarious. Without madness. That's not true. The old road <laughs> will take oh. you to hell. He but in so that much. gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. We? Who's we? You killed yourself. He talks as though this trip through the old road is going to take for f***ing ever. And I swear to God, it takes hardly any time at all. With the stagecoach destroyed and the caretaker gone, you will have to make the journey to the Hamlet on foot. It's so weird to me. Hamlet with a capital H. But the old road, they kept putting it in lowercase. It's like, he said that to uppercase letters. He totally did. These are getting more crumbly the longer they exist. Kind of sucks. I adjusted the recipe. I put two, uh, an extra cup of almond flour in it and one less stick of butter. And they turned out a lot better. Map navigation. You are currently in a room. Really? It looks like I'm outside. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to a connecting hallway. One thing that annoys me about this game is that key mapping, they don't really let you do much. There's not a lot of customization there. There's just like controller support. And it's like considering I have this amazing f***ing mouse, that's kind of annoying. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. While in a hallway, press D to move forward, A to move back. If you prefer mouse, I do, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. Why would I ever want to go backwards? Oh no! Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Combat is turn-based. On the hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on the highlighted target. See, this is the thing about turn-based games. You never know until they tell you which it is first, enemy or skill. And they don't all do it in the same order. So some games, the enemy first then click a go. Other games? Click a steal, and then click an enemy. And trying to go back and forth between different turn-based games, which I play a lot of them, it's one of my favorite genres of video game, is really hard. Because I got two on my phone, uh, and this one, and the oh, obviously one of them does it differently. <laughs> if you're wondering what my favorite turn-based games are, uh, Lunar Star Story Complete. I love that game. The sequel's okay. And this stupid movie franchise tie in Lord of the Rings The Third Age. I clocked 200 hours of my life in that game. Not in one save, in two. I played it twice, <laughs> and I spent the majority of my time in Helm's Deep ranking up my character skills. <laughs> All six of them. I love that game. Turns out, that was a smart strategy because when you get the Pelennor Fields and um, Minas Tirith, you need your backups to fight, and if you haven't been upping their skills, well, woe we'll be on to you. All right. Let's kill this guy. He dodged it! Bastard. I love the art style. Although it's dark around the edges, like, quite a bit. And it's like, again, I live in the southwest. I kinda need it to be a little brighter, and the computer is on its maximum brightness. Actually, let me check something. my gamma 
is at max. Damn it! No! <laughs> Gameplay, what is this? Well, I'm back right. Oh no, I... Why does it do that? Every time I go to twitch something, it twits the one above it. Stay away from my cookies, Missy! No! You see, let me let me show you the control options. Controller enable, hold required in dungeon. What does that mean? Interact with left stick. I don't have a stick. Vibration. Ah! Uh. Uh. <laughs> what about my mouse? <laughs> Tutorials. Yes, that means he talks a lot. What the hell is the extra bark time? Bark dismissal. Party auto sort. Language, obviously English. Oh yeah, last time after that uh, cutscene in the beginning, it decided to show me some text. I can't remember what exactly it was trying to say, partially because it disappeared when I was in the middle of reading it. I don't read that quickly, assholes. Continually onslaught, destroy them all. Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory, too. Why I prefer mouse to controller and keyboard is that I can eat with my left hand. I'm gonna steal someone's shit. Interactive objects, curios. While it's boring, you will find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Someone left valuables inside Leave this tent. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found I'm in forgotten steal places. It, I remember when I was playing Third Age when I learned that I could run around as a different character in the world. Oh my god, I was so happy. <laughs> My spells would only ever run around as Barathor. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. God, he talks so much that the fight already really started. <laughs> Judgment. I love this. Yeah, ze no, 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 no. Zealous accusation. You stole my food from the fridge! I was gonna eat that! My name was on it! It's like, what does that mean? And how does that hurt somebody? <laughs> Death waits for the slightest Damn. lapse in concentration. You really got hurt. Are you gonna die? this pistol shot range for the longest time it took me forever to figure out what these dots meant now I know what it means but it doesn't tell you it has a tutorial but it doesn't tell you it's so gross that he's not wearing a shirt and you can see his nipples Beer. <laughs> Damn, he's gonna die. I know it's permadeath with the characters. Mm, that only hits him. Ah, they're cursed. Thank Champion God. Falls. Almost looks like when he does Great that, that he does weapon it that cuts a on its own. Hand that he just has a blade in a hand for a hand instead. Green like molten envy. What the f does that mean? Molten envy. I know we say green like envy. Molten envy. What is that about? What does that mean? After you've completed the requirements of a quest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. A common thing. 
continue adventuring because there is a chest here. Ooh. It's trapped! Should have known better. Alright, whatever. So. Now, how do I leave? There we go. Mmm, moolah. What is this? Citrine, yellow like a fading hope. Again! Oh, exactly, it's fading hope yellow. Quick draw. Plus four speed on first round. That's good. A red question mark on a hero's portrait indicates they have an uh, they are unavailable for a week. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. Thanks. And you are bound to them. Actually, I could just sell them. Or abandon them. Clues. Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help for controls that, in that mode. Try it while in town, exploring, fighting, camping, and more. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. He's so extra. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. You'll need to recruit all these heroes to fill out your party of four. Try to drop them into your roster. Pestier, seeker, plague, doctor. Sure. What Pinel. better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? I was waiting for him to say something else. Upgrade the stagecoach network. Can't speak. Don't expect me to be able to speak. Do you know how many f outtakes there are for the other videos? It's insane. Almost every audio recording is twice as long. Originally. Longer <laughs> if a cat is screaming in the background. Or the bells start going off. While you're here, spend some of your starting heirlooms on upgrading the stagecoach network. <laughs> this will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, put, put the plus symbol on the left, and then click the upgrade. I think it's hilarious that they call that a plus symbol. Increases number of available heroes to three. Increases size of roster to third. I like that idea. Let's do that one. Uh, Alright, I'll do that one first. Great heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. Okay, chatty Cathy. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Hmm. Cleansing eye patch. Man at arms only. I don't think I have a man at arms. Because he... Why won't you open this? Lovely. The jeweler. The comet's crash has attracted an opportunity who specializes in otherworldly treasure. You can spend crystals or er, shards earned at the farmstead here. Oh, okay, that's where I get those. Okay, I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that before. Don't blame me. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. How are you still talking to me? You shot yourself in the head. I swear to God, man. Chattiest bastard ever. Wait, let's see. Okay, why? 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 N no, there is something to do. I know- Oh, God, I was supposed to be right-clicking. Okay. God-fearing in town will only pray for stress relief. Prone to stealing items. That's nice. 10 plus damage if torch above 75. And... Let's see. I kind of like that red and gold. That looks pretty cool. 
You are going to be in honor of my favorite game that was turn based. Fair lore. Okay. Dismos, which sounds like you're saying Dismos. Blue and brown. Brown and blue. Ugh, that's ugly. That's fine. You are gonna be... After my favorite rap song about butts. If you think I'm lying, I gave a speech on it in college. Known cheat is not allowed to gamble while in town. 15 plus stun resist. 2 plus speed. 4 plus speed on first round. And these are the- so it wasn't until I got to this point that I saw, oh, preferred position, preferred target. That's what it means. You guys ever see that movie with Robert Downey Jr.? Where he wears one of these plays masks? There we go. Robert Downey Jr. Clotter. 15 plus bleed res resist. Minus 20 stress and wield. Or whatever that means. Minus 1 speed. You suck, man. Is that a woman? Can't f tell. Those could be boobs. They could be pecs. Oh, it's fine. They keep f saying sh and I keep missing it. Unholy water. 15 plus damage at versus unholy. Minus 15 stress versus unholy. May not meditate while in town. Obsessed with material things. Nice. What a great, um, what do they call those? Um, it starts with a P. It's not a priest. Paladin. <laughs> That's what she looks like. She looks like a paladin. Dismiss hero. No! Well, actually, let's take a look. Maybe I'll be inspired. Oh, that one make her black? Kind, kind of, kind of, yeah. I like this one. Makes me think of Sprite. As such, she will be named Sprite. No. Lime. That's who she is. She's Lime. That's better. It's better than Sprite. Sprite is actually like a... What is that? Some kind of fey creature. Alright, there's nothing else to do, apparently. They want me to leave. It's not as if this place couldn't do with some spritzing. But yeah, let's just go out and kill more things. A mecca of madness and morbidity. He did not say Your this sprawling estate. So we needed to select a quest. Which I will do next time. Last night she uh, woke me up. She laid down next to me on her back. Reached for me with her paws. And I, I looked at her. And I went back to sleep. And then on my face. Both paws. 